Here we have the outside of the 2021 Eldis Explore 586. If we firstly start with the gas locker, you'll see we have space in here for two gas bottles. The regulator just sits here and then the gas hose comes off the regulator and screws into the propane bottle and is tightened with a gas spanner. Bottle on and off just there. Do make sure the bottle is turned off for travel. Down here we have the corner steady winding handle and the wheel brace. And the main hook up lead just there. As we move around, we come to the flue for the whale boiler. We do not need to do anything with these particular flues. There's no covers or anything that need to come off. Just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. Beneath that, we have one of the wind points for the front corner steadies. Water into the caravan just here to remove the submersible. Slide up here. And then just the opposite when putting it in. Battery locker. So we have the leisure battery just here. The mains hook up lead just here. And as this caravan's been fitted with a motor mover, we have the isolator key point just here and the key. Motor mover just here. Both grey water drains just here, so anything that goes down your plug holes comes out at this point just here. This is the header tank fill point for the toilet. So add your pink solution if you wish just here and then top the rest up with water. Never travel with this completely full as it will slosh about and make a mess everywhere. It's always best to uh, drain the majority of the water out of it. To do that, we just need to come to where the cassette is actually located. The drain pipe is just located here. To remove the cassette, just lift up here and pull towards you. Before use, remove the cap and add your toilet chemical. This is also where it empties from as well. Just remember that when you are pouring the cassette away, to hold this button down at the same time to release the vacuum inside. It's also advisable to keep this seal lubricated. Fetford do their own seal lubricant, but any silicon based lubricant is fine. This is also a nice, quick, and easy way of giving the cassette a good clean. If you do need to gain full access inside, this whole section can be removed. You'll see at the moment it's in the locked position. This arrow just needs to be twisted round until it corresponds here, and you can then remove. All of these are now on wheels with extendable handles. As we now come round to the rear, we can see the wind point for the rear corner steadies. We then have the vents for the Dometic fridge. We do not need to do anything with these, just make sure again that nothing is obstructing them. 
we have the weight plate for the caravan just here. This will also give you the tyre sizes, tyre pressures and the wheel nut torque settings as well. Access just here underneath the bench seat. Barbecue point just here. So the actual adapter itself is still attached with a cable tie at the moment. So remove this and then pop the gas hose over this rib section here and secure it with a Jubilee clip. To use it, plug this pit here where my finger is. It will lock into place and allow you to turn the gas on. To release, just push the collar up and it will then pop back out again. This caravan is alarmed and the alarm fob looks like this. Got a large button just here. Press it once. Single chirp, armed. Press it again. Two chirps, disarmed. <laughs> 